A booker is somebody that has to watch out. It's like a mother hen. He's got to watch out for that whole nest. Not one egg, not two eggs, but all 12 eggs or eight eggs that are in that basket. And he's got to make those eggs hatch. He's got to then go and feed them. He's got to make it grow. And then when you make it all grow together, the product grows together. Because when I was doing my gimmick in Florida at the strongest point I was, my matches were blood and guts. But there were chain matches and cage matches and Texans hangman noose matches and uh, bull rope matches and everything else. But everybody else under me supported that whole notion because we had guys that were wrestling, doing wrestling moves. They weren't going out and taking chairs and hitting each other over the head. That was designed for the main event. So for that character of mine to work, and you asked me what a booker is, for it to work, it's like going to being a, a, a conductor in an orchestra. You just can't have the horns playing. You just can't have the drums playing. You just can't have the guitars playing. You just can't have the cymbals playing. But you have to have them playing all together to make that wonderful sound. And that's, in my, what I think a booker should do is be able to bring every little note into play that at the end of the night, the performance works because everything interlocked it with one another rather than it being separate. My idea is that a great wrestling show should be a build up to a crescendo of James Brown dropping on the floor and then putting the cape on. But you've seen the platters, you've seen the four tops, you've seen gospel, you've seen you know, the police, you've seen whoever, but there's got to be a crescendo and that's my idea that a book, what a booker should do.